All right, now what I'm going to do is just to check the interpretation. I'm coming back in the lower window. This is Matthew 24. The parsing is done by Anonominon. And the link will be in the video description so that you can download it yourself. Um, you'll notice that here we're looking at a total of 560 by the time you get to verse 18. And I've already done a number of videos showing Matthew 24 both in English and here in the Greek on how you can see the organization of that text as well as the organization of the meter. However, here what we're specifically looking at is up here in the top window is Luke 21 and I'm trying to verify at least for plausibility the interpretation that Luke's point of departure and therefore difference in meter is that he's focusing on Christian teachers either worldwide or specifically in the Roman Empire. And it, you know, and Roman Empire, understand, is going to undergo a, a split right here at the 420 mark, which is 450. This is when um, Constantine's boys literally turn it into a civil war zone with each of the boys having control over some part of it. And then finally, they manage to kill each other off so that only Constantius II is alive, and then he dies by 461. And so these negative, negative in the sense that they're not seven pieces, are in part due to that. Okay, because when you're busy warring, or you're living in a war zone, you're not having a whole lot of time to study Bible doctrine. So the 203 here for 5, 450 BC, 450 AD is very relevant and very meaningful, especially when you got words like Adelphone, brothers, like Constantine's sons, and sisters, and friends. Well, that's what they were doing, where they were killing each other and fighting each other. So this text here, in delivering you over, okay, with all the fighting here in Luke 2116, which is occurring at an earlier juncture in Luke, Hold on. I live near a police station. That's why that stuff happens. Um, all this stuff happening at an earlier juncture in Luke is so um, important. Now, the same kind of thing is happening up here. started in verse 10, well, actually verse 9. The same kind of text is in verse 9 in Matthew 24. And once you get here, the syllable count is 322, not 420. So, in a way, this is mentioned earlier here because of the other text that goes before it, but in terms of the actual syllable number, it's mentioned later. So I don't know if um, Luke is bracketing, because the information is sort of doubled. You know, Christ talks about it twice. And which of the two Luke is talking about here when he's talking about brothers and sisters against each other, because you'll see that this text is not saying anything about brothers and sisters. Um, whether he's bracketing it or paralleling it. Because this is 322 in the syllable count, which makes it 352. And, I'm sorry, 352 was the brothers. 452 is the result of the brothers a, sec a century later. Because it really is still brothers and sisters against each other. This is all about whether God is one or three. And actually at 450 you're talking about two sisters in particular, Polkaria and her sister-in-law, Eudokia. Eudokia was in um, Jerusalem at the time, courting the Jews, and she had, you know, sort of like a special recognition and um, respect in Rome as a result of doing that, and that made Polkaria angry, 
And so there's a whole big rift going on between the sisters. Okay, but you could consider their... Pulcheria wasn't married. That was her big thing. She was claiming to be the mother of God <coughs> at this time. This is where the Maria Theotakis doctrine gets started because she's claiming to be the reincarnation of Mary. It's really gross. And she had control over the government. And her brother, see, brothers, okay, was in control, and that's why she takes control, because he's too young. Okay, so there is a, a kind of parallel being used here, because this is actually occurring, this is the 322 mark, and 322 plus 30 years for his death is 352, and that was the actual year in which the sons of Constantine were um, literally killing each other and having civil war over whether God was one or three. And it never quite ended, okay? And this is up here in Luke. This is 450 at its end, at the juncture. And 26 years later, um, Rome officially splits under Odovacar. Okay, but what I had been trying to explain before was that, see, these individual blue or purple numbers, the purple is divisible by three as a trinity meter, because trinity meter is also very pronounced in uh, the Bible. And so why do we have all these individuals? And this is a 49, implying, you know, it's so bad, it's temple down. 49 years you had to wait for the rebuilding. So the implication is that a rebuilding begins, and the 126 means it began all right, but it didn't work for the group. For the group. But there are individuals in here. And what I had said was, is that right about this pl place especially, this is where the Benedictine Monastery started, 529. And this, you know, benchmark stands for 535. So do I have here in Matthew, down below, anything that's sort of saying the same thing? And yeah, I do. Because, see, here's 560. All right? That's 560 after his death, so that corresponds to 590 A.D. The voting period, the historical voting period, which the Lord is definitely tracking, um, ends at that point. So it has a 70-year spread prior to that. And here you see the total meter for the for that time. It has a 70... 70 um, 70 year um, mass voting period so from 490 which starts right here right there just after Hagioi the voting period is starting here and Anonominon didn't remember to correct the meter here this really belongs either on its own line or appended here it does not belong to verse 15 okay not really I mean, it should be separated out. It's nine syllables, and the total count here is 44. Okay, but it is 35 syllables right after Hagioi. So the Lord is making a distinction for the 490 specifically. And then this total here, and this 25 includes the nine. So that his totals are right. This here is the 70 years. Okay? So the 35 is right. It's just that this text is in the wrong place. It should be on the next line. And otherwise, the 25, 22, and 23 are all correct. Okay, 25 is the sum of these nine syllables here, including the syllables here, which are 16. Okay, so 16 and 9 is 25. So in parentheses, he's got 70, but it, no one clause added up to 70, so that's why he's got it in brackets. Okay, so the 70-year voting period means that the period from 520 A.D. to 590 A.D. was critical because time could have stopped. Somebody must have won the 490, okay? And the 490 is depicted here, as I had said before, you got 469 and then 20, taking it to 489, different fiscal year, okay? So... 
490 years after Christ died is really 520, but he's, he's benchmarking the 490s, playing with the fiscal. And he's probably doing that because he wants to make a point about how bad church is, okay, at that point. But there's some kind of recovery that goes on right afterwards, right during the voting period, because this is 505, and that corresponds to um, 435. But the level of voting is not mass. There's no mass. See here, we got some mass growth here with the 21. Okay, but here it's only individuals. Well, according to the rules that I've been able to ferret out about the 70-year period, one voting for God is enough. And the examples that the Bible provides in the Old Testament are Noah and uh, Moses. Each of them came to maturity during the seven uh, during their own historical 7 year voting period and Psalm 90 actually records the testimony during that time and I went through that in my Psalm 90 uh videos which you can see in the Vimeo channel so these individual votes then must be coming I mean it's a conclusion okay I can't prove it but I would conclude that since you got monasteries rising here, and you got individuals going to the monasteries because that's the only place you could get Bible or read Bible or have Bible, that there were individuals who were actually reading the Bible and learning it as monks or maybe as cleaning ladies, you know, just so you could be around it because it would be chanted at the services and it would be chanted at the meals. And then somebody who is secretly really interested in God could be learning what the words were and talking to God about it while they did their menial job. Or maybe it was a duke that commissioned a Bible to be copied. All right? And he was learning it. Maybe he was an invalid. I mean, there are all kinds of stories you can come up with. There's no restriction by God as to your social status or your intelligence because all you have to do and it's kind of common sense thing to do is that when you sin you name it to God okay and one of the things that the Catholic Church was big on was admitting your sin they thought you had to tell it to one of their official priests but the Bible says you just admit it to God and that goes all the way back to David and Psalm 32 5 and 66 18 saying you know I admitted to you he's talking to God I admitted to you my sin and you cleanse me well the Psalms were very popular a lot of people had the Psalms and a lot of people had the Gospels how many of them had one John which directly tells you this I don't know but you didn't need it really for that okay because there's all kinds of verses in the Old Testament and especially in the Psalms like I just said where David says to God, I sinned against you. Well, somebody could read that and say, okay, well, I'm going to say the same thing. I sinned against you, God. Well, they wouldn't know, but it does make you filled with the Spirit when you do that. Then all of a sudden, your ability to understand Bible skyrockets. All right, so people must have done that. At least one person during this time, for time to continue, especially since this is a 49. Okay? So, do we see down here in Matthew something indicating the same idea? We know this total is 560. The last meter in it is 105. So that's 105 years minus 560, which would be 485, the 485th year after Christ died. Okay, the 485th year after Christ died would be what? 515. I think that's it. Hold on. Four eighty five plus thirty five fifteen. So somewhere around five fifteen AD is when this one oh five starts. And the meter of one oh five, as far as I can tell, means that the goal got completed but it's late. It's behind schedule. Okay? There is still a schedule. There is a schedule of time that can interfere with the rapture. That if, if not enough people are positive, then time is up and the whole world ends. That was the rule from the beginning with Adam. 
That's why this thing is being tracked, okay, whether it's in Luke or Matthew, okay. So when the Lord is doing it, he's not just looking at Bible teaching. But he's talking about the growth in general, and he's saying that for the period, the growth objective is met, but it's late, okay? And specifically during the 70-year period. But it gets met, or this 560 wouldn't be there. It wouldn't have completed. So that kind of helps us understand what Luke is doing. He's sort of explaining more about the problem of it being late. And obviously by these numbers here being in not in orange. They're not seven, so only individuals are maturing. And by uh five ninety five plus thirty by six twenty five, it's still bad. Okay? But going back here from five fifteen to five ninety because this is with the 30 added now. From 515 to 590, what we would be looking for is, this would be 485 in just the syllable counts. So we'd want to start it somewhere in here. Okay, that's 469. Before you add the 30, that's 469. This gets you to 490. Okay, so we're not talking about that. It's sometime during the 16 years in here. Somebody grew. Okay? Somebody grew. Who that somebody is, well, we don't know. But somebody did grow. So they were paying attention. They were learning from Scripture, probably at a monastery. Okay? Now, if it wasn't at a monastery, because they don't really get started until 529, then there were precursors of the monastery where a whole bunch of people individually go out to live, you know, alone. And they had to have scripture with them. There were a bunch of movements like that in the East for a long time. But there started to be movements like that in the West, and even Jerome himself, got started that way. Back up here, remember, this is when he publishes this Bible. But he had started here. This is 379 when he was ordained a priest. And he had already been living sort of like a hermit. And starting here, he starts to go mainstream Christianity, which is really interesting because you got a 21 year prior. But after that, it's not good. But he was in the company, he, he found some rich women who wanted to learn scripture and they supported him financially and in other ways while he was busy doing the retranslation. So that's happening during this period from 379, you know, adding the 30 back in again, from 379 until 417. And then he dies in 420. So he dies three three years afterwards, and that's para, para do. Yeah, he's delivered over, okay, but he's delivered over to God. So he dies there. So maybe in his group, this 21 represents some of them in his group growing, not just him. And maybe it represents just him. But it's not good after that. Or those in his group, because this is a 38, so it's not divisible by anything. Those in his group, one or two of them grew. Okay? Limited in number. But what I'm trying to say here is that uh, monasteries per se really didn't co start to come into flower in the West until with Benedictine. Okay? And they were copying Bibles, too, and you had individual growth, individual growth, individual growth, individual growth. Okay? And it looks like the meter in Matthew 24 is saying pretty much the same thing, that the goal overall for the period gets completed, but late, by 590, which is the 560 here. Okay? 
So the comparable period would be, this would be 578, okay, and we're looking for 590. This would be 602, so somewhere between here and here, okay, it gets, it gets done. And then... This is saying fulfillment. This, th these things are going to happen to fulfill everything that's been written. That's that's what this clause is for this period. And okay, that goes. That takes you to six o two, which is about ten years later. Okay, so the completion of the time happens all right because this is talking about completion also i mean it's got a, another meaning literally for the tribulation but you know paradigmally it means that the 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 intention gets completed and so this is saying 105 the intention gets completed but it's late i mean technically it's just in time for history to continue but it's later than it was supposed to be given the provision and so there's a sort of confluence of argument here because this is 105 and this is taking it, this is kind of skipping over the, the 560 marker and taking you to six, um, 602, all right, um, and then if you counted like 105 syllables back from it, which you really can't do, and well, 602, yep, you've got 10 more, uh, 12 more. Um, you'd want to go to like 469, maybe. Let's see. We'll take 572, 572 minus 105 minus 12. And so we'd be looking at 455, 455 in the meter. And this is basically two years after this end point. So, ente, hupomone, that's interesting. This this line here says whoever, whoever endures to the end will acquire his soul, meaning that you, you stay alive. Okay. That's kind of an interesting concept. So, it's basically occurring from 453, because I had to add the extra 12 syllables, from 453 to 572, and that's 105 plus 12, and I'm adding the 12 because it's not breaking evenly at 490. This 105 in the lower window is measuring from 490. Okay, well, not quite. It's um, 490 minus 35. Let's do it even. 490 minus 35 okay yeah 455 same period okay so this is a, this is equivalent from 453 to 572 okay because I really have to subtract the 35 as well to get the 105 it's an equivalent period but this isn't ending here at 560 it's ending 12 years later so that's why you, you have to sort of play with it so we got a darkness where individuals are growing, but not groups. So that kind of fits. Now before it, we had another 105. So then we'd be going back from this another 100 years. So it would be roughly the 349 mark to 453. You have another break. Now this this is a... Um, a sevening, but it's not a good sevening, okay, because 203 is a bad number. It means temple down. He's sevening it to signify temple down, not to signify growth. Now, f from 349 to 453 is the measuring period, so this preceded it to get to the 349, all right? And again, in terms of AD, you're going to add 30 years, so 379 AD to 483 AD. 
and again there was a movement amongst individuals to go along to go along to, to just sit alone and study and it, they were goofball in their doctrines but see if you started to get Bible during that time and you were actually learning it you could grow but only as individuals so to sit here and say we got a 105 ending here also because 28 is growth under pressure that he's saying occurred prior to, to have another 105 here in Matthew roughly corresponds to the story that Luke is telling. Now prior to that, we got a 21 here, but in Matthew, we got a 28. So clearly in Matthew it's talking about something else, and the 28 sentence is about people, you know, being offended and, you know, delivering over each other and hating each other, okay? And so if we go back here to like this sentence, which would be the previous, okay, this is where Christ said, you know, this is where our boy um, Jerome is born. He said, you know, this will be an opportunity for your witness. And it's on a bino, meaning to descend from a ship. So... Somewhere in like Ice Marturion, all right, Ice Marturion, that's five syllables, Humin, okay, these would be the seven syllables that went combined with the 21 that follows. These seven would comprise the 28 that's down here in verse 10. Will correspond to it and that could very well be I just don't know who it is I have a hard time that our boy um, Jerome is the subject of those seven years because he's only 12 years old at the time the verse ends so it must have been somebody else or some other persons but they're individuals because he is 12 all right so the last seven of the 12 plus the 21 here would be the 28 that corresponds down here to Matthew 10. So there is, and I'm not going to go through it all, I just wanted you to see that there is a, at least a little bit of tracking between Matthew and Luke about this dark period where you don't have in here, in the upper window, you, you got little pockets of growth for a group but very seldom, okay? And then it's largely owing to the group, I mean to the individuals growing during this period, that you got this favorable 91 by 737 A.D. It, you know, because you only got that's your group number, and it doesn't happen for very long, and it goes back to individuals again. And the 91 means that God's purpose for that period got met. Okay, so if we went down here, 560 plus 119 is what? It's not quite the same. Bear with me. That's 679, and that's 707 in the meter, okay? So minus 707 means we've got another 28 years to look at. So let's see if, all right, so that will go past the 23 here. All right, so it's somewhere within this part. Egertesontekar. Okay, Eger de Son Daikar. Su. Su don. Ego de Son Daikar. Su. Okay. Somewhere about there. Well, actually, be 28 syllables, so let's go 
Let's go. Oh, we got 23 here. I got, yeah, I need five more. Okay, just this one word. Rising up. Okay. Will arise. There will arise. Okay, so from here to the end of Ergotesuntai, you got the 28 that ends up corresponding to the 707 here. Okay, which means that both of these are ending at 737 AD, and by then you had you had a lot of missions out there. You had a lot of monasteries and a lot of missions. They were all in the Benedictine model, but just because the, the denomination is wacko doesn't mean the individuals who were copying Bibles in it were wacko. But that was the only place you'd get a Bible. So anybody who was really growing would have learned to keep quiet and just keep copying Bible. Otherwise, he wouldn't have access to it. Okay? So that would account for why this could be a 91 at this point. Okay? And now notice the text. There will rise, but it's cutting out the, the liars. False prophets, okay, pseudo Christs, okay, pseudo prophets that will be giving signs and wonders and all that other stuff. This was the time, and you read it in the text of the period. Oh, we had all these visions, and this guy and that guy, they all did miracles and wonders and yada yada, whether it was supposedly St. Patrick. Or, of course, that was long after Patrick was dead. But you have things being said about Boniface. You have things being said about, um, what you might call it. You know, the different, the different big missionaries of the time. There are all these lurid stories about how they did signs and wonders and all these fabulous things, which they didn't do. Or if they did them, they were lying. So they aren't the good guys in the story. But you can still have growth so long as you've got access to Bible, and that's what the 91 is telling you. That could have only been one person, two people, five people, ten people. Okay? It's the same as the story of Sodom and Gomorrah. If the, even if it's a very small number, it can be enough. Noah was one person. He voted. He was the only guy who voted for a long time. Moses was one person. He was the only guy who voted for a long time. Okay, and later you had Caleb and Joshua, but that's only three guys for about six million people. My pastor finally decided that it only takes one per six million to save the six million from destruction. Okay, so the number is very small, but it can be enough. And that's, I think, where I want to stop it. I mean, because you can pretty well, you know, take the same thing said and go, okay, here's later in history. And then all of a sudden the groups come back because everybody's trying to get the right copies and versions of Scripture down. And that's a group effort, and that means a group growth. And, you know, 77 is a good number. 168 is 284s. You know, so these are good numbers. But they take a while. Meanwhile, all you got are the individuals. So I think that's where I'm going to stop now. If you don't like it or you think I should say more, let me know.